Hi, my name is Purna Bell. In 2015, I lost my husband Rob to suicide. He was the love of my life, but here's what you might not know about being a young widow. When you get married, you consider a lot of things. Will I be able to put up with how this person chews their food, their inability to load the dishwasher? What you don't think is, what if this person dies 40 years earlier than they were supposed to? That word widow, I will never get used to it. Widows are supposed to be frail, old women. They're not me. At some point, unless you've decided to miss Havisham yourself, you will start to feel a bit less numb. And when that happens, your basic biological urges start to kick in. And that means you're gonna wanna get naked with someone. And there's this weird sexism, which is that it's fine for widowers to move on sexually, but the widow has to have her nether regions preserved in some shrine to her deceased spouse. And I'm sorry to say, that's not the case. Mind blowing, isn't it? People love a plan, they love timelines, but grief doesn't work to a timeline and that rings doubly true if it was your spouse. There is no point that I will ever get over Rob. I will always, always love him. But what I have learned is that with my grief, I've learned to live with it. So I carry on with my life with my love for Rob, but I've also started to date because I can do two things at the same time. I get this a lot, people wondering if I'm going to have kids. Um, probably because I'm still young, I've got a working uterus, and I think that they think that this will be the thing that's going to rescue me from my sadness. You're supposed to lose a spouse when you're much older and when you're retired. Losing a spouse when you're younger and you still have a job to go to and a life to lead, surviving the death of them, it absolutely exhausts you. Like It takes every inch of your energy and your reserves. I'm just glad that I managed to dress myself today, that I'm standing upright, that I go to work. Having kids is not an important thing to me, and don't worry, I'll be fine. I'm gonna get a puppy.